Hello and welcome to the channel. Retrieval augmented generation is complex. When we do videos like introducing RAG or reviewing the tooling around RAG, there are many out there and I have done like heaps of them. To be fair, it is easier to do videos on a sample data set and just to show you end to end processes, how you can take your own custom data, how you can convert it into numerical representation, which is called as vector. Then after chunking, of course, which means distributing it into uh, smaller parts and then storing it into vector store. And then by using re-ranker doing uh, ranking the similar stuff and then retrieval of it using similarity search of any algorithm and then augmenting it with your prompt and then giving it to large language model so that the responses of the LLM will be grounded in your custom data. So at theory, this is not that hard. Doing POCs, it's not hard. But in real world, when you go out there, try to implement the RAG, it is quite complex. It takes a lot of effort and most of the effort gets spent into data cleansing and data preparation. And then you have to process that data and then prepare it for inference. All of these steps, they take a lot of time, a lot of effort. And that is where this new framework, Rack Foundry, tries to help. One heads up, this is not a tool. You cannot just go install it and then start using it. It is a framework which gives you an idea as how to solve this problem within your Rack pipelines. And if I have to be very brutally honest, I don't think so. Even this is um, hitting the mark as of yet. If you go through the repo, you get the feel that this is still an unfinished framework, but I believe still a good effort in right direction. Because we all know that all of these LLMs have emerged as a transformative force in the field of AI, demonstrating an impressive ability to perform a wide range of tasks that traditionally required human intelligence. But despite of their impressive capabilities, these LLMs have inherent limitations. These models can definitely produce uh, plausible sounding, but sometimes hallucinated or nonsensical answers, especially when it comes to your own custom local data or your company's data. RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation enhances LLM performance by integrating external information using retrieval mechanisms. Combining retrieval that leverages vast knowledge bases outside the knowledge of the model effectively addresses knowledge limitations and that can reduce hallucinations, improve the relevance of generated content and provide interpretability and could be vastly more cost efficient. The implementation of RAG system is very complex as I said earlier and requires a series of intricate decisions that can significantly impact the performance of the system. This process demands a thorough understanding of the data and use cases and often solutions do not generalize well to other domains. Some key RAG design decisions include text embedding, indexing parameter, retrieval algorithm, query building, and prompt design, among various other key considerations. Another issue is reproducibility. Achieving consistent and compar comparable results across runs, data sets, and tasks is very hard. For example, in you, your company, you have built a RAG pipeline for your finance department. If you would try to replicate the same for your marketing one, it might not work because the data will be different. Variations in training data, pre-processing steps, model configuration, and hardware can lead to discrepancies in performance making it challenging for researchers and practitioners to replicate findings and build upon previous work. So that is where this RAG Foundry tries to help. It is an open source Python framework for developing sophisticated retrieval augmented LLMs for RAG use cases. This library supports researchers and practitioners in nuanced tasks of enhancing the capabilities of LLMs in RAG use cases. It is quite customizable, facilitating rapid prototyping and experimentation across all aspects of RAG, including data selection, aggregation and filtering, retrieval, text processing, document ranking, few-shot generation, prompt design using templates, 
fine tuning inference and evaluation they have designed this framework to function as an end to end experimentation environment the backbone of the library consists of four distinct modules as you can see on your screen too like data creation training inference and evaluation each module is encapsulated and controlled by a configuration file ensuring compatibility with the output of one module and the input of the next this modular approach allows each step to be isolated and independently experimented with they have also shared a github repo but the problem with these github repos and these frameworks is that when you try to produce or reproduce the steps with the share it doesn't work i tried to install it installation is simple it is just git cloning this repo which i just shared with you installing the requirements but what do you do after that it doesn't mention at all now this is a very constructive feedback for the creator of this framework that look if you want people to use this and not to just get impressed by the paper um it is extremely important to share the steps as how to set it up because otherwise it's not going to work at all so this is one of the most uh, i would say big biggest drawback of this rack foundry that you simply cannot reproduce it on your local system you there is hardly any information given in the repo as how you can embed it in your rack pipeline i have spent around 2 hours to get this working and um but i was able to do some sort of stuff but very very rudimentary it was all buggy so instead of showing you and frustrating you i'm not going to show you because this is not really something which you can just implement as of yet but as i said idea is quite fine i really like the idea for example allow me to show you um a pipeline from their code which is in their paper which i will drop the link in video description if you go through this pipeline they go through these data set loaders from hugging face and then once you load your data these are some of the global steps now you this is a retrieval step few shot where you give some example and then it just uh, does the rag on basis of it and then there is your output data uh, comes in so this is quite cool now um how does this work in practice i'm sorry as i mentioned earlier i can't tell you because they haven't really mentioned any process of doing that which is a shame really uh, because such a good project and would love to see if it really works or not but all in all i think um if someone can build something upon this because this framework really facilitates rapid prototyping and experimentation with various rag settings and configuration so if someone can come out with a tool on top of it i think that will be swell so that's it guys i hope that uh, you got something out of it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching